Hey guys, how to video game here and today I'm gonna be talking about the best high round strategy and fastest way to level up in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies. Um, in this strategy, you just go over right to the rocket pad and you stand in the teleporter and just shoot the lightning bolt over and over again. Whenever it runs out, you shoot it again. You're pretty much invincible the whole time. The only true struggle with this strategy is when the Panzer comes, it can be really difficult to not die. But all you have to do to counter that is get Pop Shocks. It will last you five of the Panzers for the next, it'll basically like last you 30 rounds. It made me through like round 30, that's 58. So uh, this is how I set my highest round by far. And it was pretty much a walk in the park the entire time. I didn't even have to do that much. So it was a pretty awesome strategy and I definitely recommend it. I leveled up 20 times while doing this. Uh, I started at level three. And I got the level 23. Uh, I just prestiged, so I definitely recommend this during double XP weekend. It's by far the best way to level up fast, as well as get high rounds on Darius and Draka. It's super fun, and it's you just feel so like much like a boss, I guess. It's just super awesome. I love it. So um, the first thing you're going to need to do is definitely get the lightning bow. Uh, this will not work with any other bow because no, none of the other bows can just hold off such a big group for so long. But if you go ahead and get the lightning bow, you just go over in that teleporter and you're pretty much just set. Every time you shoot, you'll be safe. When you're getting low on ammo, if you're about to run completely out of ammo and there are no max ammo's coming, I recommend going to the tram if you have a tram fuse or using a gobble gum, seeing if you can get a gobble gum to get you max ammo. Uh, if you think it's, if the Panzer isn't coming up soon, then I would do that. But if the Panzer's coming up in the next couple rounds, I would not risk replacing your pop shocks with it. So I don't know, it's your choice on if you want to do that, but. It's a pretty great strategy, there's really only a few flaws to it. I went down on round 58 when I forgot to turn around when I shot my thing, because when you're getting super high rounds, you pretty much have to turn around once you shoot your lightning bow and they'll hit your shield, and that'll leave you safe for a few seconds. But I didn't turn around at that point, and it got me killed, so... Yeah, that's my recommendation. Turn around whenever you shoot it, and you'll pretty much be safe for about 10 seconds while it just destroys everyone, and then you have to shoot it again. But Super good strategy, I definitely recommend it. You can have any perks, just get Jug and Quick Revive and you're pretty much set for life. I had five perks there, it was just glitched and you couldn't see my Jug for some reason. I got like a perma perk Jug for some reason, it glitched out really weird, but it was pretty sweet. Pick up any power-ups you'll see because they will all help you, even Carpenter, I promise, it'll help. <laughs> but you'll get so many points by the end that it doesn't even matter if you have like an extra 10,000 points, I had like 300,000 by the end, so it gets pretty insane. But it's definitely fun, and I definitely recommend it for leveling up fast. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. See you guys next time. I want to thank you guys so much for all the support you've been giving me lately. You're awesome. Love you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to destroy that like button down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Have an amazing day.